Welcome to our crib. 2.0. Welcome to the new digs. The very long overdue crib tour that we have said that we're gonna do. Now we're doing it. Done. Well, we're not done. Yeah. Uh, we've been here since November. We had to buy a house because we ran out of space for plants. And us. And us. Um, yeah, we were super obsessed with our apartment, but uh, we just kind of outgrew it. And uh, now here we are. Happy as ever. So we haven't had to do too much to the house, uh, just like a lot of cosmetic stuff. Um, painted a couple rooms, haven't painted a couple rooms. Um, finished the shed out back. Stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, getting comfortable, um, and so we're going to give you guys a tour of each room and then we're going to say a couple things that we like about the room, maybe something that we don't like about the room, nothing, and... Nothing. There's nothing wrong with this house. It's perfect and I love it and I never want to move, but that kind of means we can't have children because it's only like two bedrooms. So yeah. I'm yeah. willing to not have children to live here forever. Let's get started. Welcome to the entranceway. Um, a serious upgrade from the entranceway in our apartment, if you remember that at all. Um, that's about all I have to say about this little spot. Actually, there is one thing that I hate about this house, and it is that light. Give this, give this video a thumbs down if you hate that light. <laughs> Welcome to the living slash dining room. Everything about this room. Yeah, so it's a lot better than our old apartment because obviously it's bigger, but we have like these huge windows. There's one right over there, obviously that one, and then there's one in the kitchen, and there's one in the office that uh, you guys will see in a bit. Um, biggest things I like are the TV and like the fireplace setup. Uh, Nice place to chill out, watch some sports, you know. Everything. Or TLC or The Bachelor, you know. I really like all the plant opportunities in this room. Um, there's lots of great sunlight for all my little plants. And I too really like the fireplace and I really like this new live edge sewing table thing that Taylor's mom got me for my birthday. I also really like this display that we created up here. It just has um, a few quotes and words and symbols that have meaning to us. And we decided to do that instead of buying like a huge piece of artwork to put on this wall. So off of the living room, dining room, we have the office. Um, it's technically the second bedroom, it was at the front of the house, so we're using it as an office. Um, kind of office slash motivation room. Got a lot of our awards in here, um, things that we're working towards. And yeah, just like everything that we've kind of accomplished and our workspace. Main things we do in this room, obviously edit the vlogs, film most of the speaking. That's why the light looks so good, because that big window right there. Um, we also do um, a lot of people watching from this window, or who am I kidding, dog watching. Yeah. Sometime we'll he sometimes we'll hear a dog bark and we'll both like sprint to the front of the house and kind of like peek through the blinds and see the dog. Yeah. Um, there's three schnauzers that live down the street. We call them the triplets. They're our favorites so far. I don't call them that. We call them that. 
So my favorite thing in this room is this drawing that I made for my dad in 2003 of us running with Donovan Bailey, same arm, same leg, at the 2004 Olympics. Apparently Marge Simpson was in attendance. Um, I also really like this poem that my dad wrote me about uh, remembering my roots and remembering Northern Ontario when I went away to school. Welcome to the kitchen. So you guys have probably seen this room a lot because we film in it plenty. Um, biggest things is that it's big. And <laughs> Um, and refrigerator, really good one. Appliances, just like really good. We didn't have to buy them, came with the house. Uh, except the dishwasher, we did have to buy the dishwasher. So it's broken when we moved in, super great. Um, so this is where he works his magic and where I watch him work his magic. Usually I sit right at this breakfast bar here. So the big highlights of this room is Ange. She came from Africa. Um, we have this good shelf up here showing some of the memorabilia we have. Um, this um, display case is a good one. We've got family history. And we've got some cameras on the bottom here. Um, the next big one that Cribs people do is showing what's in the old refrigerator. And we actually have some food this time. So, you know, you got your uh, sriracha, your uh, Indian sauce. Some uh, Indian rice. We have a lot of Indian right now. Um, yogurt, bunch of eggs, milk, almost no vegetables. And in the old freezer, got meat, bread, fruits, veggies, the usual stuff. Pantry. Oh, there's the nest, quick. Um, and yeah, just some of your essentials. I really like our little um, diffusing station we have going on over here. Um, that's about it, I just come here to eat. I'm just here for the food. Welcome to the bedroom. It's very small, but we literally only sleep in here, so it doesn't matter as long as our bed fit, we were good to go. It does, however, have a fantastic closet and some great storage up above. So that's about it. Oh, um, so now we're moving towards the back of the house uh, to um, the greenhouse library. So this is where I keep some of my favorite plants because uh, this room gets really good sunlight. Uh, I also read in here occasionally. Um, it's also where I force my friends to sit and talk to me when I'm getting ready in the washroom. Uh, overall, it's just like a great little bonus space. Uh, probably my favorite room in the house. Taylor also really likes to read in this room. Um, currently he's reading uh, Emily Maynard's uh, I Said Yes. She's a former uh, bachelorette, as I'm sure many of you know. So this is the bathroom. Um, we've upgraded a bit from the last bathroom that we had. We had hot and cold taps, and now we have his and her sinks. It's great can actually wash your hands with hot water and not burn them um, and yeah this is uh, one of the first rooms that we painted because it was I don't even know what color it was now that I think about it but it's green now so moving into the basement now this is the uh, retreat from TLC um, bachelor teen mom um, Okay, we get it. Any other form of television. Wash your head, it's a little bit 
low. Uh, so this was another big room that we painted. Painted this white. Obviously this is blue. It was like a weird uh, yellow color. Um, so as you can tell, our old couch. And got a good little setup down here for all the gaming needs. And yeah, nice place to like come down, watch a movie. If we close these blinds, there's like no light down here. It's perfect. And we're using this room as our second uh, bedroom, guest room. Uh, so this was the color of the basement. We still need to paint down here. It's not the nicest. Um, yeah, it's a nice little room. So it's nice uh, that now our guests don't need to sleep on the couch that you just saw. It is comfortable, but it's not super comfortable to sleep on. Um, the biggest things we did for this room were lay this uh, floor down because it was just um, concrete before. I did it all by myself. Yep, it's me. Moving on through the uh, basement, um, we just have a storage room. It's really not that interesting, it's just a storage room. The uh, ceilings are a little low, so I don't go in there much. So this is the backyard. And we are taking you to the shred shed. So a couple of people have asked where the shred shed is. It's, yeah, like it is literally a shed in our backyard. Um, and yeah, you guys have, if you could follow us on Instagram, you've already seen this, but for those that don't, here's the shred shed. Pros and cons to this room. Pro, it's in our backyard. Con, it's kind of cold. We have two heaters going on. Um, you might hear a hum, because that's one in the corner, the other one's in that corner. Um, yeah, that's, those are the only cons. Pros, list of them. So this shed is basically the reason that we bought this house and why we knew the house was the one for us. Um, we saw it and we knew that it would be a perfect opportunity for a home gym. Um, ideally, we were kind of looking for a house with a garage so we can make that a home gym, but we knew this would work. Um, it was kind of nasty in here because the people who lived here before us were using it as a workshop, so obviously they didn't really need to keep it like clean. The walls are really moldy and stuff, so we worked really hard, replaced a lot of the drywall, gave it a fresh coat of paint, um, and now it's exactly what we envisioned. Um, it might look a little small, but like we do lift in here at the same time. We just have to take turns. Um, we have a bench tucked over here in the corner. Uh, one of those older ones that has the rack like attached to it, but uh, we are getting um, a newer one, which is great. We just uh, put up this wall decal. We're pretty excited about it. And uh, yeah, pretty excited about the Shred Shed. If you're in London and you want a Shred Shed membership, uh, we can offer you a discount if you subscribe to the vlog. Just let us know upon purchase. So we got all of our equipment at uh, Fitness Depot. So we went with a basic half rack. Um, we didn't need anything big. Uh, all the flooring was Caroline's old uh, runway up in Espo. So we just like cut it, trimmed it, made it perfect so we can do our Olympic lifts and not be afraid to drop it on the cement floor. And speaking of the Olympic weights, again, got them at Fitness Depot. Got a set of them. We'll probably end up needing a couple more plates of everything. Um, just cause when it's warm outside, we have more runway outside, so we're gonna do our Olympic lifts outside. So we both can lift at the same time, so we'll obviously need more weights. The essentials we got, you know, just your bands for mobility. 
Uh, we have a TRX that we put in the door to do all of our like hanging abs or push-ups and so on and so forth. Um, more bands. When we were buying our equipment, we looked into getting power blocks. Uh, those are the adjustable dumbbells that like you switch. Like a lot of people know them as like Bowflex, but there's other ones. Uh, they're like nine hundred dollars for like a set, which is outrageously expensive for us. So for right now, we have these older um, metal ones that we just uh, repainted. Um, so we just use those for now. That. We don't have the uh, power block, so they work out great for a lot of the like single arm stuff we need to do. Uh, we have my bike in the corner to do bike workouts, and uh, yeah, stationary bike. We have plenty of room. We can do our warm up, bike workout, whatever we need to do in here. So the shred shed rules. Um, rule number one: do what you can't. So just really want you to push yourself. You have to flex often. You always have to bench. Even if it's not in your program, you have to bench. Last but not least, get swole. Um, we have other unwritten rules, like don't LeBron, the chalk. Um, other rules, um, no complaining. Um, when the camera's not on, that's is a more aggressive way of saying no complaining. Another unwritten rule is uh, don't touch the walls because some of the equipment's just like a little dirty. Um, so. Somebody didn't follow that rule yesterday. Who could that be? If the glove doesn't fit. Uh, we have a really great backyard. It's gonna be even better when there's not snow on the ground. Uh, it's pretty good size. Uh, we're gonna get a more private fence in the spring. Um, fun fact about our patio set back here, the previous owner actually left that for all of us, so that was a huge bonus. Um, I'm just really cold. Thanks for stopping by our crib. Sorry that it took us so long to do this video. Hope you like our house. We love it. We're actually quite obsessed with it. Uh, it's kind of made us homebodies because we never want to leave. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to comment on your favorite part of the house or least favorite part of the house. We're open to feedback. I'll block you. I will. Yeah. Bye. Bye.